This is the Xiaomi 13T Pro, one year later. So it's been pretty much one year since the release of the Xiaomi 13T Pro, a phone I was really waiting for because I wanted to get it as my daily driver. I literally remember one year ago sitting here waiting for the show to start and them talk about this phone and after the show I just got into my car and drove to the Xiaomi store in Krakow to get this phone. Literally I was one of the first people in Poland to get this phone just minutes after the release of it. So here are my thoughts about it after one year of using it as a daily driver and overall all usage that I had with it. I was lucky enough to get it just days before our adventure, a two week adventure to a tropical island and because of that I was able to get really nice footage from it but also it has been my daily driver for throughout the year so I can confidently say how good this phone is. It works on the MediaTek Dimensity 9200 Plus and you can definitely feel that it's a very strong chipset. I know a lot of people are looking for the Snapdragon when they're looking for a premium smartphone but MediaTek really has pushed their boundaries in the recent years for their chipsets for the smartphones. And you can really feel it on the Xiaomi 13T Pro. With the MediaTek Dimensity 9200 Plus, you can actually play pretty much all the modern games on your smartphone in high settings and really take advantage of how good it is. And pair with 12 GB of RAM, this is a 12 GB of RAM model. In some regions there are the 16 GB of RAM models. Unfortunately in Poland this was the highest I could get, so this is the one I went with. So with the 12 GB of RAM and the MediaTek Dimensity 9200 Plus, it really is blazing fast in all the daily usage, social media scrolling, and overall news, websites, everything you might be doing with this phone, it is blazing fast. Pair that with a really beautiful AMOLED display and you have a recipe for amazing smartphone. Thanks to this we have an AMOLED that can actually support the always on display and I love the Xiaomi Super Wallpapers where you have this 3D effect of having a wallpaper that actually goes with your phone. So even when you open up the phone it's still in the background. But the AMOLED display is amazing in terms of colors and color accuracy. Really nice contrast, shadows, the blacks are amazing, pretty much black as you can get and overall color reproduction is amazing. And this screen can actually go up to 144 Hz. So if you have games that can actually take advantage of higher frame rates, this phone can deliver up to 144 Hz on the display. And it is a little bit on the bigger side, which is a 6.67 inch AMOLED display, but like I said, it's a beautiful display and if you like a semi bigger or like the, I would say traditional phones at this point then this is definitely an amazing screen to look at and use on daily basis. Also what I really like about this is the max brightness and peak brightness. It can actually go up to 1200 nits of max brightness but its peak brightness when it's set to auto can actually go up to 2600 so even in really harsh sunlight in the tropical islands you're still able to see everything perfectly clear on the smartphone which is really a feature that i love about it because i can really you know use this phone anywhere in the world Another thing that we have inside is the 5000 milliamp battery, which can support 120 watts of charging. Literally, you can charge this phone in a matter of 18 minutes. And throughout the year, I have used this feature and it really is able to charge this phone in 18, 19 minutes, which is just amazing. If you are low on battery, you can just plug it in a couple minutes and you're ready to go. But normally, now I use the more optimized way of charging. It's gonna be slightly slower, so like 20-25 minutes, but it's not gonna heat as much and it's better for the battery life. So if you want to put it on, you can always turn it on when you want to do the quick charge and then have the normal quick charge whenever you don't need it. But it's really cool that you have such amazing speeds on it. And better yet, in the box you already get the 120 watt charger with the cable so you don't have to actually go out and buy another one, you already have it in the box with the highest possible speed. Also in the box you are gonna find that this screen protector is already pre-applied and also you get a clear case and my clear case has been through a little bit because it's been a year and it's starting to be a little bit yellowish but you get it right away in the box so you're pretty much set to go. Also in display you might have noticed that we have a fingerprint scanner. Essentially this is the way to have your phone secured and the fingerprint scanner as you can see is 
lightning fast, it's amazing and it's really quick and easy to use in a great spot. I feel like it's just perfect for my hand and it's really quick and easy to use. This whole package is working on the HyperOS on the Android 14. I have to say Android 14 and HyperOS is really nice in terms of connectivity to other devices, but also overall is really snappy really easy to use. I would say it's really premium looking kind of a software with many cool features like the super wallpapers that you have on the display or the other new kind of wallpapers that you have on it. And overall the performance on the HyperOS, while this phone actually launched with the MIUI 14 and Android 13, it is amazing still with the HyperOS and with HyperOS it continues to be really lightning fast in pretty much daily usage. Anything you throw at it is going to do really good. And one of many people's favorite part about any phone is probably the cameras. On the back we have three camera setup, we have two 50 megapixel sensors and another wide angle lens here which is a 13 megapixel wide angle sensor. Essentially we have a main really nice big camera sensor on the main one which is the 50 megapixel. Then we have a telephoto which is times two so like a 50 millimeter equivalent and that's also a 50 megapixel. And with a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle lens which is nice if you cannot go any farther back and you want to have a little bit more in your frame. Overall, the cameras, both for photos and videos, are amazing and I feel like even in low light situations they provide really amazing footage and photos. You can actually take photos in the Leica Authentic and Leica Vibrant and as you can see they're actually working together on this phone. You can see Leica branding on the phone. It's a collaboration both in hardware and software and thanks to this I feel like the photos are really amazing in this smartphone, both during the day and in low light situations. I would say the worst out of those three for low light would be the smallest, which is the ultra wide 13 megapixel sensor. It just feels like it's the worst out of the three. So here I would actually use the night mode for better photos in low light. On the other two, you can probably use it as it is and they're gonna be really good. And on this front, we have 20 megapixel selfie sensor. Well, for the video, we can record up to 4K 60 frames per second in 4K 30 frames per second in log format if you want that, or you can record in 8K with lower frames per second. In most cases I use the 4K 60 frames per second and it looks really really good. I really love this phone for video recording and we together with Evie actually snuck up a couple of shots from this phone in different videos of ours and people didn't really notice that it was shot on a smartphone, even in winter, during the night, and people really had no idea that we shot it with a smartphone. So that just shows how good this phone is in the video and photo department. Overall, I can highly recommend this phone, even one year after its release, it definitely holds up so amazingly good, even to today's competition. So if you're looking for the Xiaomi 13P Pro and maybe you have a good deal on it, I would highly recommend you get one, it's really, really a good phone. With that being said, this will be the end of today's video. I hope you guys learned something new today. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again and I'll see you next time.